Hello everybody, good morning, good morning. Wednesday the 22nd of June. The, the sea is quite placid at the moment. Uh, you wouldn't think that the sea can become angry. It looks a, a picture of, of calmness, but you may remember the poem that the Afrikaans poet Ace Kricker, who belongs to this part of the world, I might add, though he died some years ago. Ace Kricher, his great poem, Ken ye die seer, meneer, ken ye die seer. He lake soos jou voer stoep, blunk geskeer en kalm soos min dinger hier beneer. Maar he is gevaarlijker as vlam en veer. Dan sê he nog, meneer, die vis is dier. That's Ace Kricher, you should try and read that poem. Kricher, or the people about whom Kricher was writing, the fishermen, knew how this placid sea can turn against you. And when you talk about a placid sea turning against you and becoming angry, I think of Psalm 107 that starts, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for his love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. And if you go through Psalm 107, he, he, the psalmist mentions all manner, manner of people that must give thanks to God. He speaks about people who are walking in the desert and they're in deep trouble. And then they are saved through finding water. And he says, let them praise God. Uh, for his goodness and he speaks about prisoners languishing in jail and they are released and then the psalmist says let them give thanks to God all men all categories of people but there's one that that is has reference to the scene here he speaks about those who go down to the sea and in ships and have seen the wonders of the Lord in the deep beautiful picture you kind of wonderfully serene idea of the sea and the ocean and then the psalmist speaks about how the ocean turns on them and and they are under threat of of extinction and their boats are 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 plunging into the water and men are staggering from side to side in their boats like drunken men until the, the psalmist says, they are led by the Lord to a safe haven. And the psalmist says, let them give thanks to the Lord. Now, if God has done something for you, don't keep it to yourself. The psalmist says, let them share it. Let them tell others about the goodness of of the Lord. There's nothing quite so powerful as a testimony, something that God has done for you, that you just in the naturalness of your own personality will share with others. Let the redeemed of the Lord, what? Keep it to themselves? No. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So, if you have something to share, something really good about what God has done for you, share it and God be with you.